done on the national single window system. Today we had a review meeting where all the departments of the central government ministries and the states and union territories were mostly represented in person. Some were on the video conference. And we reviewed the progress with various stakeholders. The progress in NSWS has truly been remarkable with a very large number of stakeholders having already availed the benefits of the national single window system. We are still only doing beta testing. We are at the version of beta testing to check out the system. And three data points stand out. We have received nearly 76,000 requests or applications. Even though we are only testing phase on the national single window system, the technical glitches were as low as 514, which means there's a 99.32% efficiency in the system. So our beta testing is giving us very good positive results. Already, we have over 48,000 approvals which have been generated out of this national single window system. Now, I am giving these three data points to show to you how successfully, even at the beta stage, the national single window system has worked. We have a very large number of departments already onboarded. Large number of states have onboarded. Uh, Ms. Daura and Mr. Jain will give you more details about it. But today, some wonderful suggestions have come from the stakeholders also, who have uh, shared with us ideas. We are toying with newer and newer ideas about how to integrate the collection of uh, data with a single with a single time entry of critical information. And we are moving towards using one of the existing databases, which is already available with the government. We are trying to finalize which one that will be, and uh, different uh, ministries are working as a team under the whole of government approach that Prime Minister Modi always articulates. We are working to use one of the existing databases as the single entry point and there's a most probably that will be the PAN number. So with the PAN number, a lot of the basic data, data about the company, its directors, their addresses, their DIN numbers, a lot of common data is already available in the PAN database. We have uh, approached the Department of Revenue and we are really grateful to the Finance Ministry for their unstinted support to make the NSWS a success. That will eliminate a lot of duplication that people have to do while applying for different licenses. And a one-time data which is in most cases already available in the PAN number will help auto-populate other application forms that will be received on the national single window and will help speed up the approval process, will encourage more and more companies to start applying on the national single window. Today, 27 central departments and 19 states and union territories are already onboarded. Largely, most of the items of these ministries and these states are through the single window. Their own state single window is also integrated over here. And uh, certain policies of the government, like the vehicle scrappage policy, ethanol policy, leather development policy, are totally 100% being implemented through the national single window system. There are certain departments like hallmarking of jewelry, under the Consumer Affairs Ministry, like PISO approval, the Petroleum and Explosive Substances, 
safety organization, the PISO approvals, which are all 100% only online through the national single window system. So various uh, measures which, in the words of Honorable Prime Minister, will convert red tape to red carpet. And we are fast progressing towards that. The work so far has brought us to an inflection point from which in the next few months you will see accelerated outcomes. Very, very fast growth in the numbers and in the ease of doing business through this uh, single window which was announced by the Honorable Finance Minister in her budget speech and which today we are seeing before our eyes becoming a grand success story. Incidentally, I must uh, acknowledge the role of all my colleague ministers, colleague ministries, the officials in different ministries, and the various state governments and union territories who have given us extensive support. I would also like to place on record extensive support of industry associations. And moving forward, we'll be moving towards newer areas like inspection, all inspection approvals, country of origin approvals, uh, Export Promotion Council applications and approvals, all these are now in the next stage going to start coming onto the single window. All the PLIs scheme uh, applicants are also being increasingly encouraged to come onto the single window and all of this will result in reducing the time taken for granting approval and will auto escalate any problems or any delays that may be happening so that higher level officials can be, uh, can be, will know exactly what the delay is or where the delay is. And that way, industry and business will get the comfort of time bound approvals. Two other data points I'll just share with you. <clears throat> One, the National Land Bank is also integrated with this. So today, we have one lakh, one lakh hectares of land in different industrial parks and industrial estates, which is available on this single window through the National Land Bank, where a person can look at that uh, opportunity to take over that land. They can even go and through Google Map, visualize and see that, see the facilities around, through using Google Earth, they can even see the site, am I right? Yes. Using Google Earth, they can even actually... Google Earth, they can see systems in India. On the system. So they don't even have to go to Google Earth. It is GIS enabled. It is GIS enabled. So you can actually physically and visually see that site on your computer system. And if you choose to engage with the owners or the industrial development corporation to buy it, all of that can also be done online. Literally, it's a one-stop shop to even buy land through the portal. And lastly, today it has been discussed that in the next five days, so latest by next Monday, possibly even earlier, we will be having a one-hour video conference available to all stakeholders who may have any questions any suggestions, any feedback, any grievance, there will be a video conference available, open house for everybody to come in, seek their queries, seek any information, seek any support, or if they are finding any difficulty to share it with us. And senior officials will be manning that video conference to be able to have a one-stop shop also for feedback, suggestions, and grievances. So that's the game-changing dimension of the national single window system. The success story will also help us in our rankings of the various states in the ease of doing business. And going forward, states which wholeheartedly support the national single window system and speed up the approval process using this system will be given a better ease of doing business ranking and obviously, we are all aware that industry and businesses like to locate where it's easier to do business and will clearly help us serve new investors 
as well as existing businesses better. Before I conclude, we are also exploring renewal of existing licenses. Coming on board, that will be done very quickly. We are going to start with the four or five ministries who have already agreed. Commerce and industry, food uh, and uh, public distribution, consumer affairs, textiles. Several uh, others today indicated their interest to also have renewals. Andhra Pradesh government said they would like to have renewals also. So states and centre will start allowing renewals also through this national single window system. That will be a big step forward. Ultimately leading to a one-stop shop for all industry engagement with government, whether in India or in the States. Thank you very much.